good morning. Thank you for joining. Um, I'll just give it a moment. If you're just joining now, uh, grab whatever props that you would like and put them around your mat. I have two blocks. I have a uh, blanket and a pillow to use as a bolster today. And we're going to start um, in a reclined position, much like Shavasana. However, um, I would love if you grab something soft to elevate your hips. So you could use uh, that pillow I mentioned or a blanket. If you're used to this position and you really like elevated hips in the reclined um, Shavasana, you can also bring a block underneath your sacrum and bring that to the lowest height. So we'll get started there. And if you're just joining right now, thank you so much. Happy Monday and welcome to class. All right. Um, so grab what you need on your mat. Our starting position uses something soft underneath the sacrum. Like I said, you can all, the sacrum is that bonier portion. So that's what, oh, uh, there we go. All right. So we're looking to elevate, reclining down from there, lifting the hips with some level of elevation that feels okay in your low back, as well as your hip flexors and so as. We'll meet there, extend the legs long and allow the toes to splay outward slightly. Bring the palms by the hips, face them upward. And draw the shoulder blades slightly together behind the back so you feel the shoulder heads draw away from one another. And close the eyes, seal the lips. Begin to breathe through the nose here. Allow the breath to fill the body, expand across the front body. Breathe deep into the belly and let that breath circulate all the way within. Allow the exhales to be of equal length. And turning on our parasympathetic nervous system, finding balance within the body. An influx of energy on inhale, a release of tension on exhale. And continue to build this mindful breath in the body. And I'm starting today's class with a poem by William Blake. The poem is To See a World in a Grain of Sand. And he writes, To see a world in a grain of sand. All right, I'll start again. I had a bad connection. <laughs> to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wild flower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. And so let that settle into you. And I bring that poem to class today um, because I would like for you to use the mindful breath in the beginning of pra practice <clears throat> to scan the body Allowing yourself to feel the subtle energy and feel the spaces within the body. So feel the space around the ankles, around the knees, the hips. And breathe into the entire lower body. And feel your legs, your bones, and your muscles. And bring your awareness to the belly the ribs, the chest, and the shoulders. Breathe into the space of your upper body and feel your entire torso. And bring your awareness to the fingertips, the wrists, the elbows. And feel your arms. And bring your awareness to your neck, your jaw, your mouth, your nose, your brow. And breathe into your entire head space. And fill your body with the vitality of breath and notice the expanse on inhale, the gentle connection on exhale. And one more breath into this way of being, this mindfulness, this conscious breath. And then bend the knees, bring the soles of feet to the ground. Remove what you have underneath your sacrum to the side of your mat. Bring the inner knees to touch. Heel toe the feet slightly wider than the hips. And bring both knees now to the left side so they stack upon one another, or so they don't stack upon one another. But there's space between the knees. And stretch the right arm to the right. And I started class with this poem because it's this mindful breathing, this mindful way of life that allows us to see the space between the moments. 
and bring both knees now to the right side. Left arm extends out, gaze goes left. That allows us to elongate in time and see the beauty in the subtle energies, in the subtle experiences. And sometimes that's the chirp of a bird or the flash of sunlight on a blade of grass. Whatever you may notice, that brings an experience beyond the ordinary to the extraordinary. And come back to center. And bring the soles of the feet together, knees wide. And palms behind the head here. Interlace the fingers, cradle the skull, draw the elbows wide so they're out of your peripheral vision. And breathe into the belly. And then as you exhale, lower the low back towards the ground, engaging the core. To maintain that engagement, this time inhale as you are, and exhale, crunch up, lifting shoulders off ground. Inhale, lower down, exhale and crunch. And start to build movement with breath. And soft core work, inhaling and exhaling. And we'll do this a few more times, engaging body movement with breath, Allowing the core to awaken and support the movement in the low spine. Let's take five more like this on your breath. And we're here for two. And final one. And keep the palms where they are as you bring the shoulders head to the ground. Bring the knees together, lift knees over hips, and flex the toes to the knees. Make sure the knees stay over the hips. Sometimes there's a tendency to draw the knees in using the hip flexors. We're gonna turn on the low belly here, the Uddiyana Bandha. Extend from here, right leg out. And take the inhale with shoulders down. Exhale, crunch right elbow towards left knee without bringing left knee towards elbow. A little different than an active bicycle. Inhale, come back to center, both knees over hips. Exhale, extend left leg, crunch left elbow towards right knee. Inhale to center, exhale, exchange and crunch. And back and forth like this, we're moving slow, moving like we are traveling through honey, letting the breath inspire the movement. And it's often harder to move slow, fighting gravity Resisting the urge to go with momentum, activating the muscles that are necessary to create the posture. And we're side to side, two more times, so four more. Last pair. All right, final one, really nice. Let's bring the feet to the ground, bring palms by hips, spread the fingers wide, press into the ground with palms and feet. Inhale, lift hips, pause there, and direct the tailbone towards the back of the knees and towards the inner knees. Hug the belly towards the back, support the lift, and then reach the palms towards the back of your space, breathe into the front of the rib cage, the armpits, and the arms. And take the inhale there. Exhale, roll the spine down to the ground. Rhythmically now on breath, rolling bridges. Inhale, lift arms and hips. Stretching the core. And exhale, release. One more time. Inhale and lift. And exhale and release. This time bring arms out wide like a T or bend at elbows taking cactus arms. Hover, starting to stretch out obliques and intercostals. Inhale as you are hovering. Exhale, transition through center, both knees to right. Rocking along the sacrum, inhaling at right, exhale and transition. We'll take two more side to side. Now opening up side bodies, inhale, exhale, transition. Inhale towards right, exhale, transition. Again, inhale towards left, exhale, transition to right. Final one here. And come back up over center. Once in center, bring palms behind the thighs. Start to roll along the length of the spine. We'll meet and draw back towards knees. Or, I'm sorry, draw hips back towards heels. Knees wide towards the outer edge of mat. Belly dropping between the thighs. Forehead on ground or a support as you need for a low back. Walk the steps in towards the ears. The triceps down towards the ground. 
Lift the wrists off the ground by pressing through the mid knuckle of each finger. And take a breath into that. Feel the length of the body. And send the breath from the hips all the way across the spine, neck, crown of head, reaching from shoulders to fingertips. Follow your inhale, rise to tabletop. Align shoulders over wrists, knees under hips. Lock your head up. Exhale, round back, press away to cat. Inhale, come through cow. And exhale into cat. We'll continue on this movement here, maybe building circles if you would like, letting hips drop towards the right wrist, then left. Hips come back then towards left heel, then right. And take, take some organic movements in your body. And you could follow what I'm doing or you could choose that your body needs something else this morning. If you're going in a circular direction, we're here for another two cycles. And as we move with conscious breath, mindfulness, and switch directions here. We, rec we recall the opening poem, looking to bring our awareness to the subtle energies within the body. And the small muscle groups, and those that we need to activate to form the posture with awareness from head to toe. Take one more direction or circular movement in this direction. And we'll come back to center from here. Extend left arm forward, right foot back. Lift them both off the ground. Find that long energy line within the body. And breathe into that on inhale. Exhale, bring the elbow underneath, touching, tuck chin in, balancing cat. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, knee elbow under. One more here, transitioning in these balancing postures. And exhale and under. This time we're coming out wide, awkward airplane. Inhale, engaging obliques in outer right hip. Exhale, under body like an accordion. Inhale out. Exhale, round out and under. Last one. Inhale and out. Exhale, round out, under. Inhale, extend left arm out, right leg back. Exhale, left palm down, left foot kicks out, stack hips, supported side plank, peel body open to right, reach palm towards ceiling. Variations are to stay here, reach right palm forward, or bend right knee, take palm to outer edge of foot, press hips forward, breathe into front body. Release foot if it's in hand, big inhale, extend out, Exhale back to tabletop. Guide yourself through cow on inhale. Press away, exhale, and cat. Neutral spine. Extend right arm forward, left leg back. Align yourself on that central line of energy for stability. Inhale, extend, exhale, and curl under. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, and under. Inhale, extend. Exhale, under. Here's our transition. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, left leg out, right arm out. Exhale, accordion under. Inhale, extend. Exhale, out and under. Inhale, extend. Exhale, out and under. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, right palm down, right foot kicks out. Stack left hip, heel open. And keep the core engaged. Sweep left palm towards front of space. Or bend left knee. Take left palm towards outer edge of foot. Gather shoulder blades together. Keep spinal alignment. As you start to peel open the chest, maybe gaze upwards. Release the foot if it's in hand. Big inhale, sweep out with control. Breathe into space. Exhale, touch down with control. Inhale, draw chest forward, cow. Exhale, press away, round back. We'll come to tabletop, tuck toes behind, lift knees off the ground just a few inches. And start to press into the pads of the feet, awaken the toes, and breathe into the strength of the body. We're sort of in this bear posture, knees lifted. And then from here, we begin to extend the legs long behind and press the hips back, down dog. And let the heels.
heels softly descend towards the ground. Slight bend behind the knees to support the lengthening of the muscles, release the taxing of the ligaments. Palms are about shoulders width distance apart, a bit wider if your shoulders are really tight. Pointer finger is facing forward. Maybe a slight external rotation, again, if shoulders are tight. You feel some tension in the low back. You're welcome to step the feet a bit wider than hip socket width distance. That helps to release it, still keeping that soft bend behind the knees. Take one more breath here and dog. Walk palms back to feet. Such bend behind the knees. And bring right palm in front of right foot. On inhale, we'll lift and twist to the left, reach left palm towards the ceiling. And straighten the left leg any amount that feels okay in your body as you continue to bend right knee towards right arm. And bring left palm back down to the ground, exchange, start to bend left knee, straighten right leg any amount, reach right palm towards the left. And so there's a crisscross at the legs, forward fold at the head, descend down towards the ground. Getting a little bit deeper into the back of the right leg. And undo this side. And step left foot behind right for that crisscross hamstring stretch. Undo this side here. Palm print by palm print, walk back out down dog. Try to keep the hips steady here. So squeeze outer hips together, soft bend behind the knees, control the movement, engage the core. We're back in down dog. On inhale, shift forward to plank pose. Exhale, lower halfway, bend the elbows, chaturanga. Inhale, press into palms, come to plank. Exhale, hips come back, down dog. We'll come through this again two more times. You're welcome to lower the knees. Inhale, shift forward, plank pose. Inhale to plank, exhale, hips come back, down dog. Again, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway, knees up or down. Inhale to plank, exhale, hips come back, down dog. Inhale, lift right leg behind, one leg dog. On exhale, bring right knee to the nose, round the belly, around the back, hollow the belly out. Inhale, extend back, one leg dog. And follow your breath two more times on this cycle, using the core, shifting weight forward. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, knee to nose. This time, step foot between palms. Left knee to ground. Lift, low crescent lunge. Shift the left thigh forward. Hug the right hip a little bit back. Squeeze outer hips together. Start to open up the front of the left hip here. Reach fingertips towards ceiling, maybe gaze upward. And sweep palms behind you and down. And come forward, frame the right foot, half splits here, shift hips back over left knee, flex the right toes. Lengthen spine, lengthen hamstring, gaze forward. In any of these stretches where we get into the back of the legs, a soft bend behind the knee helps to bring awareness to that joint. It helps to shift the stretch to the muscle fibers, releasing the ligaments from the extent of their range of motion. Rebend the right knee, tuck left toes to runner's lunge. Again, align the hips here as you did in crescent. So right hip draws in line with left, upper inner thighs squeeze together. Plant left palm, twist open to right. Reach right palm towards ceiling. And bring right palm back down to ground. Bring a deep bend to this left knee. We're going to come into a variation of crescent lunge with a deep bend in the left knee. Press away from the ground, keep that bend, knee hovering off ground. Notice here the stretch in the front of the left leg, the hip. That's what we're aiming for. It's a little bit of work in the thighs, the quads, the hips. We're also aiming for aiming towards that. We have three more breaths here, letting the length of time release the fibers, letting the strength build in the body, allowing the stillness 
to calm the mind. And take the inhale as you are. Exhale, we're folding forward, framing right foot. Step back to plank pose. Pausing in plank, building, building some strength here. Lift right foot off ground two inches. And keep the heel pressing back, top of head reaching forward. Take the inhale, exhale, violin plank, knee to nose. Under body. Inhale, extend back, one leg plank. Exhale, knee to nose. Inhale, extend back. This time, exhale, touch toes down. Shift forward on inhale, bend elbows. Lower through chaturanga, belly to ground. And press into tops of feet. Draw the elbows in towards one another. Chest forward, inhale into low cobra. Active legs, top of feet pressing to ground. Exhale and lower. Again, inhale, rise to cobra. Press into top of feet. Legs reaching long. And exhale and lower. This time, walk palms back a bit. Inhale into a high cobra. Maybe straightening arms a little bit, still keeping that core turned on. Exhale, tuck toes, press hips back, down dog. Lift left leg on inhale. Exhale, knee to nose, under body. And follow your breath two more times. The more we practice, the more we're able to elongate these breaths, finding the space and the subtle energy in the movement and the postures. And step left foot between, pant, between hands. Bring right knee to ground. Shift right thigh forward. Hug left hip in line with right. Rise to high crescent. One more inhale here. Then on exhale, sweep palms behind, body wide, and forward to frame left foot. Straighten left leg for half splits. Lengthen body. Hinging at hips, that length comes across the spine as top of head reaches forward, across the back of the right leg. Soft bend behind the left knee. And supporting your body where it is today, the range of motion that's healthy for you on this given day. And bend left knee, and tuck right toes, lift right knee off ground. Lengthen spine, hug the hips together again. Plant right palm, twist open to left. And bring left palm back down to frame left foot. Bend right knee, bring that deep bend to the knee so that the quad starts opening as we press away from the ground into crescent variation. Begin to build the heat in the body. Use the weight of the body to help open up the front of the right quad. Use the strength of the hips and the belly to lift the upper body away from the waistline. One more breath, inhale. And exhale, fold, frame left foot. And step left foot back towards one leg plank. We'll start in plank. I'm sorry. Then lift left foot off ground, inhale. Exhale, bring the knee under the body, keeping the body in plank. Inhale, extend that back. Exhale, under body. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, under body. Inhale, extend back. Touch toes down into plank. On exhale, we're lowering halfway to chaturanga. It's your choice, knees up or down. Inhale, into cobra or up dog. Exhale, press away from the ground. Bring the hips all the way back, down dog. Rise to toes on inhale. Exhale, walk forward, top of mat. Bring feet underneath hips. Bring palms to shins. Inhale, lengthen out, half lift. Ardha Uttanasana, find length for the spine. Draw the sit bones to the back of your space, and top of head forward. And then exhale, fold. We'll do that two more times. Finding rhythm with breath and movement. Inhale and lengthen. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lengthen, lift. Exhale, forward fold. Using that same strong core and long spine. Inhale, come to Urdhva Hastasana. Sweep the palms wide, high. Maybe gaze follows, maybe they come together. On exhale, palms come to heart center, tucking chin in. 
and awakening the body here with breath, noticing the difference in the energy. And bring awareness now to your body, soles of feet to crown of head. Notice what that feels like within the energies that are coursing, and the breath that is moving in and out. On inhale, sweep palms high, Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, fold forward, Uttanasana. Starting sun salutation, A. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step to plank or jump to Chaturanga, your choice. On inhale, open chest into cobra or up dog. Exhale, we'll meet back and down dog. Noticing the way the breath feels in the body. Noticing how your body can release when breath is sent to the places where there's tension and resistance. And inhale, rise to the toes. Exhale, make your way forward. Step or jump. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, come to stand. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Going through that again, inhale, sweep palms or Vahastasana. Exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step to plank or jump to Chaturanga. Begin your vinyasa on breath. And choose what feels right in your body. And skip them all together. And come to child's pose if that's more appropriate for three breaths. And we'll meet in down dog either way. Rise to the toes on inhale. Exhale, bend knees, step or jump forward, top of mat. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. And come to stand, inhale. Exhale, palms heart center. We have one more. Inhale, sweep palms high. Exhale, follow your breath to fold. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, step or jump, meet and down dog. Meeting here and down dog now. Step feet a bit wider, then hip socket with distance, maybe to outer edge of mat. Walk palms back underneath your gaze. Plant the right palm. Extend left palm towards ceiling, inhale. Exhale, underneath body, take left palm to outer edge of right leg. Draw crown of head towards ground on inhale. Exhale and twist deep. And gaze is underneath right arm. Hips remain in down dog, so try to keep the hips neutral even though the low body is twisting. Release this leg, bring left palm back down, inhale, Reach right palm towards ceiling. Exhale, twisting under body. Right palm to outer edge of left leg. Inhale, lengthen spine down. Exhale and twist. Hips are neutral. Extension out from waistline. And twist at mid spine. Release this side as well. And palms come back out to down dog. And inhale, rise to those toes. Exhale, step walk or jump. We're coming forward, top of mat. Half lift on inhale. Forward fold, exhale. And we come to stand, inhale. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, palms, heart center, Samastitihi. Moving right into Sun Salutation B today. Inhale, bend knees, sit, seat, Utkatasana. On exhale, forward fold, Uttanasana. Half lift, inhale. On exhale, step or jump back, flowing through vinyasa. If you're stepping, try to alternate which foot you step back with. We'll meet in down dog. From down dog, and take the inhale there without lifting right leg. Today, I'd like you to step right foot forward using your oblique muscles. And bend right knee, step right foot behind right hand, pivot left heel down. Rise, warrior one, sweep palms wide, high, Maybe gaze follows as they come together. Follow that exhale to release down towards ground. Begin the vinyasa. And moving mindfully with breath here. Take inhale and down dog. Exhale, step.
step left foot forward, using the strong obliques, right heel pivots down, rise warrior one, strong engagement with legs, palms come together, exhale, palms frame left foot, step left foot to meet right, begin your vinyasa. Lead in down dog here. And press away from the ground with all ten fingers. Lift weight out of those wrists. Activate your arm muscles. Turn them on. And then press away so the weight shifts upwards towards the hips. Hide those heels behind the toes. Soft bend behind the knees. Let the calves release the heels descend. Rise to toes. Inhale. On your exhale, make your way forward. Step or jump. Half lift on inhale, forward fold up, exhale. And sit your seat low, Utkatasana. Inhale into that fierce chair pose. Exhale, come all the way to stand, Samastitihi. One more building heat here, Sun Salutation B. And the basic postures of our salutation flow, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, palms to ground. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant palms. Step with the opposite foot or jump to Chaturanga, follow breath through Vinyasa. Meeting in down dog, inhale there. Exhale, right foot steps forward. Rise on inhale, warrior one. And flow down on exhale. Frame step back to Chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Adding that inhale and down dog. Exhale, left foot steps forward. Rise on inhale, warrior one. Lower on exhale to Chaturanga. Inhale is to up dog. Exhale to down dog. Maybe close the eyes in this down dog. Heighten the senses, your awareness of the subtle energies. Using that increased awareness to guide yourself into this posture, into the length and the release of it. Notice where you need to release. Notice where you need to lengthen. Rise to toes, inhale. Exhale, bend knees, come forward. On inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale into chair pose. Exhale, press into heels. Come all the way to stand, Samastitihi. Really nice. We'll set the feet hip socket width distance apart. Prepping for Padabhusasana here. Draw elbows behind, tuck tailbone down. Lift the heart on inhale. On exhale, forward fold. Guide with the heart. Once the head is reaching towards ground, release hips. Take the pointer middle finger. Wrap them around the big toe. Finding our yogi toe lock. Elbows come out wide here. Hug the belly up so that the hinge and the forward fold comes from the hips. Bend the knees as much as you may need to bring that belly towards your thighs. And then draw the shoulder heads away from the ear, shoulder blades up the back towards the waistline. One more breath here. Release the toes, shift the weight towards the heels, bend the knees slightly. Flip the palms up in front of the feet. Thread each palm under the foot for Padahasthasana. Deep forward fold here. Shift weight towards the toes so that the wrists are on the ground. Nice wrist release as well. Bend the knees once again as much as you need. Bring the belly towards the thighs. Hug the low belly up towards the spine. Use the strength of the arms to continue to draw the head towards the ground. Lengthening the back. Really working to get that rounding out but in a healthy way. Draw shoulder heads away from the ears. And then release the palms. Deep bend to the knees here, almost like you're sitting back in a chair. Press into the feet. Inhale, sweep. Palms wide, high. Urdhva Hastasana. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Samastitihi. Staying at top of mat today. Inhale, sweep. Palms wide, high. We're going to hook the thumbs, fan the fingers. So turn those arms on. Find that activation and length for the body. Then shift weight to right foot, warrior three right side. 
Hinge at the hips like a pendulum. Palms are coming forward. Left foot is extending back. Enter with control here. Bend the right knee as much as you may need to keep hips level and square to the ground. As much as you're reaching back with left foot, reach back, reach forward with fingertips. And keep gaze just in front of the nose, neck is long. Last breath, inhale. Exhale, come all the way to stand. Release the thumbs, bend the elbows, breathe into heart, press hips forward. And then extend arms towards the ceiling, hook opposite thumbs this time, fan the fingers once again, engage that belly, lengthen body. Shift weight to left foot, hinge at hips, extend right heel back, reach fingertips forward. Entering with awareness and control, be mindful that these transitions are just as important as the posture themselves. And pressing into left foot, come all the way to stand. Reach fingertips towards ceiling, inhale. Take those cactus arms, press the hips forward, lift the heart, breathe in. And send palms become behind back, interlace the fingers, draw knuckles down, lift the heart, shoulder blades down, back, inhale. Exhale, forward fold, top of head towards mat. Lift knuckles towards ceiling. Release palms towards ground. Half lift, inhale. On exhale, travel through vinyasa or not. We'll meet in down dog. From down dog, step feet together. Lift right foot, inhale. Open stack hips, reach right knee towards ceiling. Take a big breath into the body there, inhale and exhale right knee to tricep. Again, inhale, open those hips, direct knee towards ceiling, exhale knee to tricep. One more time, inhale, extend back to open hip, one leg down dog, exhale knee to tricep. This time, inhale, lower right knee towards right wrist, staying in plank, exhale, hug it up. Step foot forward behind wrist, Set feet for warrior one, inhale and rise. Bring palms behind back, interlace right thumb over left, reach right knee over right ankle. Breathe into heart, inhale, humble warrior on exhale. Lift knuckles towards ceiling here. And keep those strong legs, steady breath in the body. And press away from the ground, inhale to warrior one. Hook thumbs, fan fingers. On exhale, transition, feet to warrior two. Active arms here, bend right knee over right ankle and split the palms equally. Continue to reach out and away with strong arms, strong fingertips. Bring a smile to the face, feel the strength of your body. Flip right palm, reverse warrior. Deep bend in that right knee remains. Legs turning on here, come back to warrior two. Reach forward, modified side angle, right forearm to right thigh, left palm sweeping forward. You're welcome to reach right palm forward here as well, turning on those strong obliques that we're cultivating this morning. Inhale back to warrior two, bring palms to hips, straighten right leg, set feet for triangle, trikonasana, extend arms out, inhale, reach forward, exhale, right palm to shin, block or ground. Hug the right hip in, direct the tailbone towards that upper inner thigh. Maintain that engagement, that connection at the pelvis, our center of strength, and then reach left arm towards ceiling. And bring left palm to hip from here, bend right knee, continue the activation of right outer hip, rise to half moon, Ardha Chandrasana, Lift left heel towards hip height, flex those toes towards your midline. Rotate the hips open, the belly, the chest. Find all that and then extend the arm up. Think of the arm extension as like your bells and your whistles, your flare, but the foundation is here in the, found, in the strength of legs, the alignment of hips, belly, chest. Bend right knee, bring left palm to hip, point those left toes, with core control, we're stepping back to warrior two, soft landing, whoo. And then bring palms to hips, straighten legs, rotate the 10 toes towards the left side of the mat, setting up for Ardha Chandrasana C, 
So the C grip of palms, knuckles reach to ground, inhale, lift, and exhale, hinge at hips, forward fold, knuckles reach towards ceiling. Bring crown of head towards ground, shift weight to the toes, be mindful of the knee joint. Support that by lifting the kneecaps to the quads, activating all the muscles of the legs. And then undo that interlace, bring palms under your shoulders, rotate left toes towards the back of the mat. We'll come skandasana variation, keeping right foot grounded here, bring palms to heart center. Open up the inner right thigh, strengthen left hip. Take a breath there, and then come back through center. Rotate right foot towards the top of mat. Entire left foot is grounded, skandasana variation. Continue rotating towards front of mat, finding runner's lunge, then hugging right hip back into the left, walking palms forward, half splits. Start to lift the left foot off ground, reaching toe tips towards ceiling, belly down towards thigh, head towards toes. Keep those neutral hips similar to warrior three. Bring right palm behind the calf. Engage the belly here. You have this balance. Walk fingertips forward a little bit. Lengthen out slightly. Inhale as you are. Exhale, Shiva squat. Left knee towards right calf. Lower here. Inhale, extend out. Exhale, tap knee to calf. Inhale and extend. Exhale, find that. Tap. Inhale, extend back. Exhale, land in two runner's lunge. Walk palms on inner edge of right foot. Take high lizard. And start to let the left hip descend down. And plant palms on inner edge of the foot. Keep right knee stacking over right angle towards those toes. So stay healthy in that joint. And draw chest forward through the biceps, crown of head. Press away from ground on inhale. Exhale, step right foot back to plank. Shift forward on inhale, chaturanga, exhale. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, hips come back, down dog. And step feet together at back of mat. Lift the left foot, stack the hips, bend the knee. And take an inhale here as you exhale, knee comes out wide, finding left tricep, using those obliques. Inhale, open hips, one leg dog. Exhale, knee to tricep. Inhale, extend back, open hips. Exhale, knee to tricep. This time, inhale, knee comes down to wrist. Staying in plank, exhale, hug that up. Step foot forward behind left palm. Rotate right heel to ground. Inhale, rise, warrior one. And bring palms behind back, interlace. Draw knuckles down towards the ground. Lift the heart, big inhale. Strong legs here, exhale, humble warrior. Left shoulder towards left knee. Knuckles rise towards ceiling, gaze towards back ankle. And press into the feet. Inhale, come back to warrior one. Hook opposite thumbs, fan fingers, activate arms. Transition feet, warrior two. Longer stance. Deep bend in left knee over left ankle. Strong right leg. Keep those, arm, those arms activated, three to long, fingertips extending. Flip left palm without changing legs, inhale, reverse warrior. And come back to warrior two, hinge forward, modified side angle, forearm to thigh, right palm sweeping forward. And come back to warrior two. Ooh, actually, before we do that, you're welcome to extend that left palm forward, engaging those obliques as well. Reaching forward, holding that imaginary sun between the palms. Press into feet, inhale, rise. Triangle. Step the feet in slightly, palms to hips for the moment. Then extend palms out wide one more time. Hinge at that hip. Inhale, reach forward. Bring that side body all the way towards the ground. Then left palm to shin, locker ground. Right palm rises. Hug the left hip in, direct the tailbone to the upper inner right thigh. Extend out from that point of strength and stability. Rotate at the mid spine. And bring palm to hip from here, bend left knee. Crawl left fingertips forward for Ardha Chandrasana. 
Fingertips underneath shoulder. Right foot rising slightly higher than hip height. Open up the hips, stack them first. Roll belly open, chest open, and then find that final little touch of extending the arm. Transitioning to warrior two here, bend left knee, point right toes. Hug outer left hip in, so as you step back, there's a graceful landing there. Warrior two. And straighten the left leg, setting feet for wide leg, forward fold. Inhale, lift heart. Exhale, forward fold. All right, for my yogis who practice tripod headstand, so I'm gonna go back the other way. For my yogis that practice tripod headstand, you're welcome to come in up and rise with me. And so palms walk back towards the ankles, shift weight forward towards the toes. Use the belly here as you bring crown of head towards the ground. We'll start there. Palms and elbows and shoulders are as if you're in chaturanga. They're stacked over one another. Come to the toe tip so you can shift your hips over the shoulders, engage the core. Very slowly start to lift the feet off ground. You're welcome to just play lifting a foot, bringing a knee to the tricep. Keep the core engaged and keep the shoulders lifting away from the ears. So the neck is supported, tailbone lifts and tilts towards the inner ankles. And we'll split the legs slowly, moving once again mindfully, feeling all of the movement in the body as you travel either with or against gravity, flex toes, keep hips over shoulders, working to land those feet flat, inhale, woo, extend out, palms come up under shoulders, point left toes towards front of mat, walk palms around that left foot, we'll take runner's lunge here, inhale, extend forward, find that length, walk fingertips in front, in front of the left foot, press into left foot, rise to half splits, Top of head reaches towards ground. Hips are squared here. So the right foot's lifting towards the ceiling. Maybe taking now the left or right palm behind the calf. Maybe taking both. Working that balance, engaging the core. Finding the alignment of the body so that you can work with the energies as they flow. You know, fight them, work with them. Release the calf. Inhale, extend, exhale, Shiva squat. Inhale, extend, exhale, Shiva squat. Last time, inhale, extend, standing splits. Exhale, Shiva squat. And take that inhale, extend out. Exhale, step right, foot back, runner's lunge. Plant palms around left. Take high lizard. Open up the hip slightly. Let the right hip drop down. Press into those palms here. Lengthen body on inhale. And then exhale, step left foot back to meet right in plank pose. Shift forward on inhale. Exhale, lower chaturanga. Inhale, peel heart up. Up dog. Exhale, press hips back, down dog. And taking a breath or two in down dog or child's pose. Your choice based on what your body needs. And then walk the palms back to the feet. We'll meet at the back of the mat or really anywhere on your mat is fine. We're going to close with a standing balancing posture. It's Utita Pada Hasta. Wait, I might be saying that wrong. Sorry. It's a standing hand hand to foot pose. I'm losing it now. Anyway, we're going to start with feet hip socket width distance apart. And shift the weight towards your left leg. You're welcome to start with your right knee bent at hip height and then take the palm either to the shin or the outer edge of foot or if you have the full variation then you'll take pointer middle finger finding that toe grip here and from that yogi toe grip or any variation extend the leg out any amount you're able to press down into the standing leg here hug the core in hug the outer hips together find that point of strength one more breath here in center, bring left palm to hip, and then guide right leg out to the right. You're welcome to release left palm if you like that variation. Just feel the energy within the body, press away from the ground, 
Lift from the foot to the head, lift from the hips to the extended leg. And come back to center, find a little point of strength here. Wherever your leg is, release that leg, bring both palms to hips. Press away from the ground, two more breaths here. You got this. And release the right leg down. Give that little, give that little leg a little wiggle. Maybe shake the hips a little. We'll transition now to right side. Ground down through the right foot. Lift left knee to hip height. And then left palm again can come to shin. Working with wherever your body is today, left palm to outer edge of left foot. Or finding that yogi toe lock, point your middle finger around the toe. Extend the left leg out any place you're able to. Press away from the ground with the standing foot. Hug the hips together. Feel the strength of that central point in the posture. And then with control, left leg comes out to the left side. Finding alignment still at the hips, even though we're widening the angle. Right palm can reach out to the right if you would like. Coming back to center. Ooh, I gotcha. <laughs> All right, coming back to center. <laughs> Extending left leg out. There we go. Find a little core and leg work. And left leg comes down. Woo, sorry about that. All right, sweep palms high wherever you are. Big inhale into body. And exhale, hinge forward, palms towards ground. Inhale, half lift. If you're out front of the mat, you're welcome to come through vinyasa. Same at back. Coming through this final sequence of strength. And then exhale, hips come all the way back down, dog. We'll meet now with knees on ground, restorative child's pose, grounding energies here, bringing hips towards heel, heels releasing the low back, palms towards the back of the mat. Roll the forehead along the ground, start to release the tension in the brow line. And then rise onto the seat from here. Shift the hips off to either side. Extend the legs in front of you. Find any support you may need for seated forward fold postures. So it might be a blanket underneath the seat. Hey, buddy. We're going to have a little bit of assistance today. <laughs> um, so you can support yourself however you may need, right? And then inhale, we'll lift both palms. And exhale, hinge at hips, reach towards those toes. Find what you can find. It could be the shins. It could be the heels, it could be the feet. Inhale, extend forward, and exhale, draw top of head towards toes, any amount. Hug the belly in, support this forward fold as we did when we were in standing forward folds. Work the body down towards the legs, any amount. And it's all in this journey from where we start to where we go, rather than the destination. I think we all know that, that it's always worth more when we have to work for it. And release the feet from here. We'll take a wide leg forward fold on the ground here. So spread the feet onto the mat. You can transition to face the edge of the mat if that works better in your space. Same thing here, we're reaching palms high, keeping our sit bones grounded, finding that hinge at the hips. Taking one more extra breath as we come down with core control. That's how we know it's engaged. Bringing palms down, crawling forehead, reaching top of head towards the space between the legs, hugging belly in, being really mindful of the knee joints as well as the hip joints, the groins. Working only for a little extra release. No pain, no strain. And just bringing breath to where you feel the tension knowing that you can release that to allow a deeper opening. And walk palms back up to the space between the thighs. Bring the feet back together, facing top of mat. We'll extend legs forward, reach fingertips towards toes, and then as you exhale, roll the spine down to the ground. Try to roll down with control, going as slow as you possibly can, engaging that core. Lowering vertebrae by vertebrae, eventually touching the back all the way down. And from here, hug the right thigh into the body. 
We'll guide the right leg across the left side, stacking hips upon one another, bringing right knee towards ground, and then reaching right palm off to the right. Work to ground both shoulders here. And so maybe the right leg is on the ground, maybe it's lifting. Pay attention to where you may feel any type of strain around shoulder, spine, sacrum, hips. Breathe into that tension, release tension. And we'll come all the way back to center from here. Extend right leg long, hug left thigh into body. Extend across the front body. And then exhale, stack hips, left upon right. Left knee comes towards ground, left palm reaches out wide. Supine twist. Using twists not only to bring out those internal organs, but to build spinal health, mobility, injury prevention. A suppleness between the vertebrae. We'll come all the way back to center from here. We'll hug the thighs towards the body gently. Maybe rocking along the sacrum, releasing low back. And bringing forehead up to those knees. And then when you're ready, releasing down towards the ground. We'll meet in Shavasana here. Extend legs long as we started with. If you liked that gentle lift for your hips, you're welcome to take Shavasana as we started practice too. So bring that pillow underneath the sacrum, find a little support hip lift there. Super gentle. And then roll the shoulder heads away from one another. So a little selfish, self Shavasana adjust. <laughs> Flip the palms upwards. Toes splay out wide. Legs feel heavy and relaxed. Hips feel heavy and released. Breath is soft, mind is still. as you are in Shavasana, as long as you'd like. I'm closing with the same poem from William Blake, inspiring our day to experience things that are beyond the ordinary. So an abundance of experiences that are extraordinary. He says, to see a world in a grain of sand and a heaven in a wildflower. Hold infinity in the palm of your hand and eternity in an hour. May your day be filled with these blessings of the extraordinary in the subtle. Bring the palms to the brow for clarity of thought, and to the heart and for clarity of intention, and to the lips for clarity of speech and outward expression. May that all be aligned. May that be your yoga. Namaste. I hope you have a beautiful day.